slower, more dangerous storms. The behavior of tropical cyclones, that is hurricanes, typhoons, and tropical storms is changing. Here's what you need to know. In a recent study, researchers found that the probability of major hurricanes occurring has increased by about 22% over the past 40 years. They're also becoming stronger faster, a phenomenon known as rapid intensification. For example, before Hurricane Helene struck Florida in September 2024, it grew from a Category 1 to a Category 4 hurricane in just the span of a day. Usually that change is more gradual, happening over a few days. And when that happens close to landfall, it means less time to prepare and evacuate, posing a major risk to coastal communities. So is there a connection with climate change? Stay with me. The formation and intensity of tropical cyclones depend on just the right mix of environmental conditions. Essentially, it comes down to the amount of fuel available. As our climate continues to grow warmer, so do the oceans, which absorb 90% of the world's surplus heat. The hotter the water, the more energy available to power the storm's growth. A warmer atmosphere can also hold moisture, which in turn means more fuel for the tropical systems. Usually, as the hurricane swirls, it brings cooler water from the bottom to the surface of the ocean. But if deep waters are also warm, hurricanes intensify faster and do not stop intensifying. So what does the future hold? What we know for sure is that Category 4 and Category 5 tropical cyclones will increase and this proportion is going to increase even more if we don't stop burning fossil fuels. We also have sea level rise and sea level rise uh, combined with the uh, tropical cyclone by increasing the risk of flooding. Then we can also have other risks, for example, consecutive cyclones, cyclones that are like one after the other, for which you cannot recover from the first and then you have immediately the second one, and also different kinds of events that can appear after uh, tropical cyclones, for example, in heat wave. Research also indicates that the range of hurricanes and tropical cyclones will increase, meaning millions more people could face the devastating damage of these storms in the years to come. This damage is expected to continue to double every generation because of inflation, population growth and expanded infrastructure along the coast.